All right, so you're looking at a 2001 Four Winds 20 foot horizon. Um, just going to do a, a walk around. This isn't going to be much of a sales pitch. I'm going to highlight everything I can to save everybody some time. All right, so let's just do a first walk around. Boat looks really good. Um, Gel coat in the most part is good. Fiberglass is perfect all around. Um, some of the striping has some marks on it. You can see some of the striping here has some marks on it. You know, there's a couple of marks in the gel coat, little super minor stuff. Um, there's a couple spider fractures in some areas. Like that, pretty minor. Just stress fractures. That's just gel coat, that's not fiberglass. Um, some more right here. Um, but the, for the most part, the gel coat looks good. I mean, you step back two feet and it looks great. It looks beautiful from a distance. Well, it looks beautiful uh, standing right next to it. <clears throat> a few more of those, fiber, those fractures on the ladder cover. Got an integrated ladder here. So just pull that out. So easy to get on and off. Easy to put back away. Also easy to smash your fingers in, so be careful on that one. New buckles. Uh, we got a four blade stainless steel prop. Got a skeg protector. Outdrive is in good, good looking condition and good, good condition. We got, um, that's for the, one on the right is a speedometer sensor. The one on the left is for the, the uh, fish finder. You can see, oh, it's got this hydrofoil here. Makes it, gets it into a plane faster. Um, these rams have been rebuilt. The last couple of years, they were they were leaking a little hydraulic fluid. They've been rebuilt. <clears throat> uh, all these supply hoses have been replaced. The bellows are all fairly. All these hoses and bellows are all pretty much brand new. Maybe two years. They've got a lot of life left in them. Um, that's it for the outdrive. A little more coat stuff, a little more, nothing. I mean, you stand back a foot here and it looks great. Um, a little, some of the striping peeled off here. I, I've got some gray, but I haven't been able to find the white, the right with blue to kind of patch that up. A little more scratches in the All right, so on the bow, we got a little bit of a, a little bit of a mush right there. Follow the bow line down. It's okay up here, a little scratched. It's a little chip in the gel coat right there. Um, down below, you can see some of the gel coat has been rubbed off just from coming up on beaches. Fiberglass is all super solid. Not a, I mean, I, this thing sits in the water for days um, in lakes. Doesn't take on a drop of water. You open up the plug at the end and uh, nothing comes out. It doesn't take on a drop. Okay, so again, you know, if you're looking at the boat from three feet away, it looks pretty good. Um, let's walk around the trailer before we jump in the boat. Um, heavy duty galvanized trailer. That's like a 7,000 pound axle. It's only single. It's a 3,000, 3,100 pound boat, single axle trailer, but it's a super heavy duty trailer. Tires are less than two years new. They are load rated E, somewhere it says on there. I don't know if you can look at the tread, it's good, it's not wobbly at all. You'll never find a trailer that's worn out on tread, but you'll see the wear pattern is can be horrific on an older tire. Those are pretty clean. 
anyway. Um, it's got a heavy duty jack on it, a two speed winch, spare tire. I got the old wheel on it. If you don't like the rust, you can just take it off. I just keep it on there in case I ever need to prop, up, prop it up a second time. Surge brakes, so the axle is um, maybe five or six years new. It's got good disc brakes on it. That's a surge. So when you step on the brakes, this actually works as a master cylinder. It compresses, squeezes the brakes, and, and slows you down. Um, windshield is all perfect. No chips, no... Uh, no pitting or anything. Looks good. My sign's actually wrong. It's actually a 2001. Got a couple extra lights like, that'll go with it just in case trailer lights burn out. And that's the thing trailer lights do. Um, the horn can be temperamental. I don't know if it's a switch or what. I've already replaced the horn. Um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Got nice anchor hatch. It's like 25 feet of chain in there, an anchor, 100 feet of rope. Okay. And then stainless steel on the, the um, marine radio antenna. Uh, 45 gallons of gas goes it's about a 90 mile range on it it's going to show that the prop is in perfect condition there's not a there's not a flaw on the prop um, this prop is pitched Uh, 14 and 3 eighths by 18. I think this is 8. <clears throat> so that is a um, low pitched prop for this V8 engine. Pulls me 220 pounds up on a single water ski, no problem. Um, goes about 40 miles an hour top end with this prop. You could put a probably a 21 pitch prop on there and do 50 plus if you wanted to. Um, thankfully, it's kind of scary. We're going to go ahead and jump in. <clears throat> All right. Let's pull this out of the way. All right. So this is the best part of the boat. This swim deck is so 7, 14, 21, 28. Good 30 inches across. Two people can lie down on there easily. I haven't seen this on any other boat swim platform this big um, or a sun platform this big. Super comfortable, great for hanging out on. Um, this is, this thing's great. A couple of fishing rod holders. I have a, I had a barbecue in a fishing rod mount that sat on there so I can barbecue right off the back. Perco switch, two batteries, blue top Optima, there's an interstate battery, They're both in good shape. This boat has massive storage. Um, this is, I mean, you can see my hand, how big that storage is. It goes down about two and a half feet. There's another one on this side. So life jackets, ropes, floaties, whatever. Tons of stuff in there. Um, there's room back in there. I got another Tupperware with some, a spare prop and some ropes. Just couldn't stand the wasted space. Motor's in good shape. This is actually a newer motor than the boat. It's a um, 5.7 liter. It's the GI-D um, is the motor. So SX. 
outdrive. Uh, this is a 280 horsepower fuel injected V8. Um, gets up and goes, it's in great shape. Been well maintained. Fires right up. Um, cool. oh, fishing rod holders on the on the top. So you throw some shorter fishing poles on there. It's not gonna get your big casting rod or anything, but uh, swim seat or bench seat that goes all the way across. So vinyl from the vinyl perspective. Um, you can see it's in pretty good shape, but on this blue here, if you zoom in, you can really see that some of the blue is a little bit cracked. Same with up here. So that's not ideal, but you can see for the most part, it's in pretty good shape. You know, all the other boats you see posted, um, you only get the picture this close. You don't get the up close, right? All right, so this... This is all perfect. Hardly a, hardly a mark on here. Stitching is all good. Everything, all, all the vinyl on the inside is perfect. So this seat comes up, tons more storage underneath. Just, this boat has just incredible amounts of storage. Um, I just bought upgraded to a 22 foot and half the stuff I had in here just had to go in the garage. This bench seat comes out. You can't actually sleep on that. It's not too bad actually. It's got speakers here, here, down there, and down there. Um, the radio. Works good. Um, radio works good. Um, it's uh, it's not your ski boat. It's gonna have super loud, but it works good. Um, got a marine radio, and that works good. Here's the helm. Some of these gauges are a little goofy. Speedometer is a little bit uh, flashy, kind of goes up and down, doesn't really tell you the speed very good. Uh, oil pressure sender, or the actually it's the dash, so it never reads oil pressure. Um, it'll give you a couple warning beeps at the beginning, um, but it's non inconsequential. Um, if you ever lose oil sometime, you probably won't know about it until you hear the motor acting up, um, but there's independent oil pressure sensors you can put on it. I never worried about it. I just listen to the motor. It always runs fine. Hummingbird fish finder. Magnet mount for my phone. Some extra. There's a um, uh, extra USB charger plugs in here. There's the cigarette lighter plug that goes in there. There's a couple more. There's, a couple, there's another outlet up under there. Um, storage here. This is a cooler that's self-draining. This is pretty cool. Holds good 12 packs of scissors or beers. Ice. Got stainless steel cup holders. Bumpers. Um, captain's chairs are awesome. So they're all full rotation. They slide back and forth. We got the full bolster seat. So I almost always drive with the bolster seat up. Um, but you can see the seats are in perfect condition. They were reupholstered maybe seven or eight years ago. Okay. All the vinyl on the side is in great shape. Some ropes and bumpers included. Get that out of the way. How the this has got just gonna prop that up for right now but those arms mount so that just stays up and out of the way um it's good sunbrella canopy so it covers you know the whole cockpit area um 
nice. Again, windshields in perfect shape. You see the glasses just clean, no chips, no marks, no scratches, no pitting. Let's go up to the open bow, more stainless steel cup holders. Hole where the original C um, marine radio antenna was mounted. Just kind of leave it there. Vinyl's all good. More storage underneath the seats. Life jackets included. No storage under the front seat. A little bit on the dirty side, but clean that. Uh, we got these dry storage areas here. Some extra lights in there. Again, tons of storage. Oops. Okay. This is the best thing in the world. I've had, this thing is just massive. Let's see how far back it goes. I get a couple slalom skis in there, a small wakeboard. Um, if I'm going on a dive trip, I get all my dive gear in there. It just holds massive amounts of stuff. Things huge. You can get, let's see, hang on, let's do that. You can easily get four people in the front, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Easily get ten people in here. You can probably get more if you wanted to. It'd be awfully crowded. You need to have life jackets for each person. I think that's about it. Um, here's the helm again. Good looking boat, it's in good shape, runs great, lots of power. And if you're comparing it to others out there, got the 5.7 liter V8, um, tons of power. You know, that's adds a, adds a lot to a boat. You know, the five liter and the four three is underpowered for a boat this size and this weight. Um, so that is a fantastic engine, and seriously, this sun deck, you know, sit up there and, and fish or sunbathe or whatever, that can't be beat. I mean, it's just great. Um, so yeah, let's see. Let's put this back down. There it is. Boat's about 3,100 pounds. I tow it behind a truck that's more than capable of pulling it, but it could pull behind a half-ton truck pretty easily. And there you go. Thanks for watching.